0% AI are the lowest difficulty in the F1 games. However, today I've decided that I actually want to give them a chance of winning a race. So in this video, I'm going to be racing on all five tyre compounds to try and level the playing field. To make the challenge just that little bit harder, I decided to also make it a last to first challenge. For this race, I decided to be Nico Hockenberg because the poor guy seems to be allergic to getting podiums, let alone race wins. So today, I'm going to try and change that. As the lights go out, we get a half decent start, almost rear end Logan Sargent, which would have not been ideal. However, we're about to make a massive send into turn one. I probably break about 100 metres later than the AI in the first corner, up the inside of Sergio Perez, cut the corner, normal place for him to be in 15th, and now we get a much better traction on these hard compound tyres. I think that's a pretty decent start, we've made up 8 places after 2 corners and are about to make up some more, as we squeeze our way past Valtteri Bottas coming into the 3rd corner, and now we're about to send it up the inside of the Ferrari duo, coming through here, up the inside, we're through. I've now got Hamilton and Russell fighting in my way, Hamilton coming off worse there on the first lap, not sure that's the first time I've seen this before, but to be honest I don't think it's best that we talk too much on that because I'm not exactly trying to start a war in the comments section. Anyways, we're on George Russell now and we're side by side with him. For some reason I didn't really seem to have the straight line speed on him here, force him a bit out wide, he gets a bit wobbly, my bad George. And then I almost went for a huge dive bomb on Alex Albon, however I thought better of it and we get round the outside of him here. Next up is Yuki Tsunoda, don't exactly know what he's doing in 4th place but but then again, how often do you see Nico Hülkenberg in 5th place? Side by side with him going into the fast right hander, once again we're a little bit slow but we got the inside line and obviously he is 0% AI. It's only been 2 sectors and we've already made up 16 places. We go round the outside of Norris here, unfortunately we do it off the track so we have to let him back through. I don't want to be getting any illegal overtakes that will slow down my progress. I do of course eventually get past him, after a little bit of confusion I go round the outside and now we're coming up to the end part of the lap. At this point I'm not sure whether to box or not but I decide to press it just in case. Kind of get held up behind Verstappen there and then this happens. We're going into the pit lane and... <laughs> yeah, I sped in the pit lane. Not my smartest move but then again flashbacks are there to be used so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I think it's probably for the best that we pretend that never happened. Coming into the pit lane here and I decide that we're going to go for the wet tyres. My plan in my head was to go from the worst tyres possible, the wets, all the way to the softs. We'll spend a lap on the wet and inters, lose a load of time to the AI, but then in the process when we get onto the medium and the soft, we'll have loads more laps to gain on the AI and hopefully eventually win the race. Alright, so I'm not going to show you the whole wet lap because it is literally just me missing apexes and cutting corners, as you can see here. However, I just want to use this as a reference to how slow the AI are. Obviously Obviously I'm on wets and they're on softs so the gap should be reduced just a little, however by the end of the lap I'd gained 6 seconds on them which I think is pretty ridiculous. So if anyone does actually drive on this AI difficulty, I mean I'm just hoping that this is the first few days that you've actually been playing the game because if not maybe Rocket League might be the game for you. Alright, I think that's probably enough of me insulting people that are bad at the game, considering I only play on about 80 AI and I'm pretty useless. We're now putting on the intermediate tyres and instantly I felt the grip was a little bit better. However, I think the problem was that I thought the jump from wets to inters would be like going from wets to slick on a drying track. I overstepped the mark way too many times and this led to me only gaining 5 seconds. So at this point I was definitely getting a little bit worried to whether or not I'd actually complete the challenge. However, I had seen other YouTubers such as Tia McMarduk do the challenge around tracks like Italy. I wanted to do France because it's a bit of an unused track and I really enjoy it on the game. Anyway, that's enough about me waffling about what tracks I do and I don't like. Coming out of the pits, we were 36 seconds behind Lance Stroll. We had 9 laps to gain on Lance Stroll which means I needed to gain an average of 4 seconds per lap. That might not seem too difficult, however I had to make another pit stop onto the soft compound tyres, so at this point I was wondering whether or not I would actually be able to do the challenge. But then I realised that we were only racing 0% AI. Two laps later I was only within 2.5 seconds of Lance Stroll and of course I was gaining time. So as we're coming up to the end part of the lap, I really want to make some moves, as I had not seen another car for about 4 laps. We're coming up to the final corner and we make a huge lunge on Lance Stroll, get him out of the way and we're instantly focused on making a move on Joe. We get much better traction from him, mainly because he's 0% AI, and then we're through. Next up is Kevin Magnussen, and I wasn't really sure whether or not to go for a lunge here. But seeing the way that Stroll moved out of the way, I made another similar move. And then we're focused on Daniel Ricciardo. We're now up to P8 because of the cars that have pitted, and I really, really wanted to just get a move on and get these cars out of the way. 
I try and go around the outside of Daniel Ricciardo here, but I think I just forgot what the track layout actually was. However, we go around the outside and then we make a massive dive bomb on Sergio Perez. He moves out of the way, and I'm not going to lie, I really like the way the AI move out of the way if you're going for a dive bomb. It shows that they've actually got some spatial awareness. Around the outside of Albon here, kind of cut him off there, that was pretty poor driving. But now we're up into P5 after four laps ago, just being stuck on our own 40 seconds behind in P20. A few hundred metres later and we're right on Pierre Gasly. We get much better traction from him once again. It seems to be a common theme with the AI and now we're trying to chase down Charles Leclerc. And of course it doesn't take very long to catch up to him. We go around the outside from here and we're through. So you may have seen me mention last lap that some of the drivers were pulling into the pits and that's why we were gaining so many positions. I seem to forget that coming into the last corner here. Just got completely swiped by Hamilton. I got front wing damage and I wasn't really sure where to go. So I came into the pit lane but then I got two penalties in a row for speeding in the pit lane and cutting the corner. So I just decided to use another flashback. I honestly couldn't be bothered with 8 seconds worth of penalty, a new front wing and going on to medium tyres. I kind of wanted just to complete the video on genuine ability and see if it was actually possible. I almost got swiped out by Leclerc there, got a bit wobbly into the final corner but ultimately I don't really think it made much of a difference. About halfway through lap 8 here and I've pulled a 15 second gap to Max Verstappen. I've kind of missed the apex there a little, however we're coming into the slow long braking right hander and then I go off the track. I get a warning and then I get a 3 second time penalty. This was definitely not ideal, and considering a pit stop lasts around 30 seconds on this track and I only had a 15 second margin to Max Verstappen, I was starting to get a little bit worried whether my soft tyres would actually be useful towards the end of the race. As we're coming in to have our pit stop, we've gained an extra 5 seconds on Max Verstappen. Obviously, I don't serve a 3 second time penalty here, it'll be applied at the end of the race, but some of the cars are going to start to go past me now. But to my surprise, we came out in 3rd place just behind Fernando Alonso. It was at this point where I realised the challenge wasn't going to be too difficult. We fly around the outside of Alonso here, and straight away we're on the back of Max Verstappen. So in the end, after being 40 seconds behind on lap 3, we beat the challenge in only 9 laps. Honestly, this challenge wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be, however, I'm really glad that I was able to do it. So as we skip to the end of the race, you may be wondering why I've got 16 seconds worth of penalties. I honestly just forgot that if I was going to cut corners, then I was going to gain even more time on the AI. But there you go, Nico Hülkenberg and Haas get their first ever win in Formula 1. Thank you for watching this video and if you've got any challenge that you want me to put out next week, please do put it in the comments because at the moment I'm a bit clueless.